I'm going to show you how I got from here, my kitchen, just outside Bournemouth, to here in Palma. Including two nights in a four-star hotel right by the cathedral for less than the cost of a return train to London. So an anytime day return from Bournemouth to London is £133.50. Now, despite the fact I'm only three miles from Bournemouth Airport, getting a bus there is a hell of a job. So my good friend, firefighter Barrett here, decided to give me a lift in his brand new Tesla Model Y, which is quite nice. Bournemouth's not the busiest of airports, so it only took five minutes to get through security before boarding my flight to Palma, Mallorca, which cost £33.98 for my return flight. So we're basically comparing a 100 mile trip to a 1200 mile trip. We managed to get an absolutely amazing deal on the Hotel Puro, which is usually a lot more expensive than this. It's a four star right in the center of Palma, just five minutes from the cathedral and 30 seconds from this famous landmark fountain in the city. During the stay, we took a tourist bus up to Valdemosa, and from Valdemosa, we moved on to Port de Soyer and I'd highly recommend a little stop here for anyone visiting Mallorca. It's a lovely, lovely place. Despite the amazing views on the journey, I have to say that some of the mountain roads did leave me requiring a change of underwear. So that one, we were about on it about an hour and a half on the way there. We did the scenic tourist route on this lovely air-conditioned bus with USB chargers, etc. And uh, we took the quicker bus on the way back, which took just 45 minutes, all for four euros 50. Now, if you're wondering how I found these flights, I just use Skyscanner. The great thing with Skyscanner is you've got this option to choose anywhere. So you just put the airport you want to go. You can choose specific dates or just a month and um, just look at the prices. You can just find the cheapest deals very quickly. As you can see, I'm doing a search here again from Bournemouth. Bournemouth's got a reputation for being quite an expensive airport normally, but you can see the prices here are dirt cheap if you choose the right dates. And uh, just look at this, Bournemouth to Venice return, 23rd of April till 26th of April. I found it for 36 quid. There's a link to Skyscanner in the video description and pinned to the top comment if you'd like to try it for yourself. And there's just a brief summary of the numbers. Okay, so let me address a few things that I'm sure a few of you have got on your mind. Yes, it's not very sort of carbon friendly, is it, to go on a big plane journey rather than going on a train but I'm trying to highlight an issue here, folks, and the issue is that public transport in the UK is shit. I've used public transport all over Europe, uh, Austria, Czech Republic, Spain, France, you name it, we've used public transport, and it's generally really cheap, quite regular, fairly efficient, not generally overcrowded or not certainly to the levels that some of our public transport can be. And it's generally readily available. You don't have to walk five miles to find yourself a bus stop or a train station. The other thing I'm sure lots of you are saying is you could have got a cheaper train ticket. And yes, I could have done. If you've got the benefit of knowing exactly when you want to travel and exactly when you want to come back, you can pre-book two advanced saver single tickets and you can save yourself a few quid. You might get that return trip for say 60, 70 quid rather than 130. £3.50. Uh, that 60, 70 quid is still roughly twice what the return flights have cost, unfortunately. And the return flights are air conditioned and actually the seat's reasonably comfortable. And there's far more chance of that plane taking off and arriving when it should than there is of that train. And I don't know, I've never been on a plane where only half of it's turned up, but I've been on lots of trains where only half of it's turned up. And I've had to stand for my £133.50 train journey. That's two hours if you're lucky in the thing things actually running on time. And let's say I want to go and use that train and I'm happy with that. Um, to get to the station from where I live, and I don't live out in the sticks folks, I live in a, a reasonably large town right on the edge of Bournemouth, which is more or less a suburb of Bournemouth. Yeah, I've got a long walk and then a really inconvenient bus journey that's not very cheap on a bus that smells like a stairwell in a car park to get to the station. And much like myself when I haven't had my brown flakes, it's not exactly regular. So that means that 99% of people that go to Bournemouth station from where I am, take their car. 
That means you've got to pay another nine quid to park it there. Now, I used to work right in the centre of London over at Liverpool Street, and I had no choice but to use public transport for my daily commute. That season ticket cost me £9,000 a year, including the car parking, and I kept a tally in three months of journeys, and I actually got home at the advertised time on the train four times in three months, and twice I got left at Basingstoke, which is a £130 taxi ride. Now, every government I can remember in my lifetime has been banging on about people should leave their car at home and use public transport, but at the same time, they've let public transport go to the dogs. Not only has the service gone like that, the cost of it's gone like that. These things don't make sense. Remember folks, internal combustion engines are pure evil. No one should even have a car at home. We should all be using public transport and making full use of those cycle lanes. But it costs you a fortune to get onto a substandard train network, but you could go and fly off into the sun and back again for the cost of about, I don't know, 50% of what the government takes in tax and duty from a tank of petrol in your car? Is it just me or does that seem a little bit broken? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, folks, whether you agree or disagree with me. I know other parts of the country are served far better by public transport than we are, but I can only really make this point from my own position. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one.